Hey guys, DJ Ravine here. It is now week two of Point Blank Music School and I'm really, really enjoying my time here in London. You know, one of the things that I really like about London is the fact that there's always heaps of artsy stuff going on. And one of those things that is going on right now is the Lumiere Light Festival. And I'm gonna go over so I can take some intro footage for what you're just about to watch right now. Let's hope it comes out all right. Help me to break through. So, one of the things that I noticed when I came to Point Blank is that there's students from all over the world. So I decided to go and ask a couple of them where they're from and why they came to Point Blank. So yeah, just introduce yourself. My name's Alex, uh, I'm a student from Canada, I'm studying at Point Blank Music School. Hi, my name is Diego, I am from Portugal. Hi, I'm Jaren Zen, I'm from Australia. Hi, my name is Gina Marshall and I'm from Kentucky. I'm Michael Wilson, I grew up here in London. Uh, I'm Ross Palmer, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. So I'm Jazz and I'm from Bali. What made you come to Point Blank? I came here to improve myself as a musician all around. Get better at everything I do and get a real degree backing up my knowledge and, and I'm just interested in getting better at sound in general. Even in my country, it is, it is a very honored school. If I'm going to learn something, I can learn out of it the best. I came to Point Blank because I'm in love with the music coming out of the city of London. And I was doing online school and it doesn't have the resources that Point Blank does. Why did I come to Point Blank? Point Blank, it's in the heart of everything that's happening musically. To me, that's where I want to be. I want to be where the music is being made. I've been doing music as a hobby for quite a while and I guess I just wanted to know how good I could actually be if I got taught the skills in the right way and was surrounded with proper people. So yeah, I guess just to take myself to the next level, take it a bit more seriously. I came to Point Blank because once I uh, toured the school, I just saw all the equipment and how amazing it was and how all the teachers were so inclined to help the students. Um, I love the vibe here. Everyone's so friendly. Everyone really does. All the teachers really do devote all the time into you specifically. Hey guys, I'm DJ Ravine from Sydney, Australia, and I came to Point Blank Music School because my production sucks. Yeah, I'm just being honest. So, we've got our mic cable, okay? Uh, we've got our headphones here, and then we're going to plug in that balanced cable there. Plug that into HP1, or headphones 1, in the wall box. This is going to go into mic input 16, okay? So once that's all plugged in, give us a shout, and then we'll turn phantom power on, and then somebody will need to get their headphones on, get on the mic, and uh, we'll see if we can get those guys to guys get it recorded down. All right, let's spit some bars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just in a sound engineering class and we're trying to figure out how to use one of the mixing desks and man, it is difficult. Unplug one and plug it back in. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Why? Just so yeah. it looks good in the video. Okay. <laughs> nice. So that was the second week of Intro to Ableton. Uh, we learnt a lot more about drums, a lot about drums, and uh, yeah, so let's hopefully we can get some drums out for this track. All right, so I'm at one of the project studios in Point Blank Music School, and I'm here to make a drum beat for my track. So let's get started. So just keep in mind that this is the stuff that you learn in the intro module to Ableton. There is a lot more advanced stuff in the later modules. Okay, so the easiest way to go and make your own drums in Ableton Live is by using the drum rack. So the drum rack is basically Ableton Live's built-in drum sampler. It lets you load your own samples or you can use one of Ableton's many built-in drum kits. To find the drum kits, you basically go into the browser on the left side of Ableton Live, click on drums, and then you have many of these drum kits to choose from. All you need to do is find one that you like and then just click it, drag and drop it onto an empty channel. And there you are, you have your drum kit loaded. Now in order to play your drums, you can either click on each individual play button or you can use your MIDI keyboard or you can even play it in with your actual keyboard. So I'm not gonna use this kit right now, I've actually made one myself right here with some sounds that I prefer. So now it's time to program in a drum loop. All we need to do is drag a section of our uh, timeline that we wanna make the drum loop right click and click insert MIDI clip and basically we need to program it in with the piano roll. 
All right, so if you guys haven't done Techno House before, and I don't know where you guys have been, but uh, Techno and House run on a 4-4 time signature. So what that basically means is that there's gonna be four beats to every bar. So if it's four beats to a bar, it goes one, two, three, four. Every time I hit, that's gonna be a kick. So let's do that right now. We're gonna program in our kicks. So as you can see, it's labeled here with the sample name, and this one is bass drum. So we're gonna use the bass drum, and we're gonna double click and that will put in a note. So if we press play now, we've got ourselves a little kick. Uh, you can make it a bit easier on yourself by pressing the B button, which brings out this little pencil, or you can see up here, you can uh, see this little pencil there as well. And you can actually just draw it in like that. It makes it much, much easier. Or you can be lazy like me and then just control, copy, Click where you want to go, and then paste. Now we've got a techno beat. I'm gonna turn up the BPM, I'm gonna turn up to 128. So just click on it and then type your numbers in. So we've got our kick drum now. But another thing about techno and house music is that there's gonna be a snare or a clap on the second and the fourth beat of the bar. So that's here. I'm gonna put a clap and a snare, so it's gonna sound a bit like this. Uh, copy, paste. And another thing about techno and house music is that they like to use hi-hats on uh, the eighth beats. So eight beats are the beat that's in between these two. So it would be here. So I've got a little hi-hat here. Uh, it's actually not gonna be that one. It's actually this sample right here. Uh, I'm gonna drop that in there. Okay. Oh, and uh, if you guys don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm actually resizing the um, the timeline or the piano roll right now. Basically just click it, move the mouse down to zoom in, move the mouse up to zoom out. Okay, and again, I'm gonna copy and paste that. Because I'm lazy. We pretty much got a house beat already. So something a lot of techno and house producers like to do is by changing the closed hi-hat into a open hi-hat on the last beat of the bar. So we're gonna do that on every second bar. I'm gonna go and change that to that one there. And another thing you can do is add a crash to the beginning of this drum loop. And I've also prepared that crash as a reverse sample. So it's gonna sound really cool. It's exactly one bar long, so I'm gonna put it on the last bar and you'll hear it now. So I wanna actually make that loop. Uh, this button here is the loop button, and this is called the loop brace right here. Uh, whatever is inside this loop brace area, that will loop continuously until you press stop. So you activate the loop by pressing that button. See, I'm gonna start playing from the end here, and it'll automatically bring it back to the beginning. Looping is really helpful when you're making drums in particular because it lets you add more sounds as you're playing it. So I've got a percussion sample that I've also loaded up. I'm gonna add that in as well. Cool, that sounds pretty cool. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing, copy and paste. And there you go, we've got a simple drum loop for techno music. All right, that's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know how to do that, especially if you've used Ableton Live before, but that is the foundation of the track, and without any drums, we ain't got no rhythm. As always, make sure you check out Point Blank Music School's website. There's a bunch of free stuff like plugins and samples, and also, if you want to do the course, there's all the details right over there. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next week. Building A fortress And we thought we thought it was stronger